We've got Joey. So oh, we got to throw it to let's him. Let's go. Let's go. Right now, Joey Chestnut joins us now here on The Better Angle. Joey's a friend of the show. This is, like, I think, Joey, your third time being on with us, and we appreciate you always taking the time to join us, especially right after uh, a big competition like this. So just talk us through how this 4th of July went not being at Nathan's. Well, it's uh, sometimes we're dealt, a, dealt some cards, and we got we to gotta, we gotta handle them. And, uh, yeah, it, it I, uh, I wasn't at Coney Island, but, I, uh, dude, I was at Fort Bliss in Texas, and I ate uh, a record 57 hot dogs in five minutes and raised $105,000 for an awesome charity. So it's, uh, dude, it, it was, it was, uh, it was an awesome day. And, and, uh, I, I was able to eat hot dogs like I always do. And Joey, you came in with the mentality, obviously with the situation with Nathan's, they weren't allowing you to compete in the hot dog eating contest this year, but you were like, okay, that's fine. I'm going to try and eat more than the winner of Nathan's and actually came up a couple of dogs short of that. You had 57, the Nathan's winner had 58, but you did it in five less minutes, man. We, we had a group text going on with a better angle and we had the LeBron meme of when he was playing against the Celtics <laughs> for game six. And we're like, this is the face of joy right now. So mentally just where you at a place where like, you know what, I'm going to show these guys what they're missing out on. Oh, it wasn't really about showing them. It was uh really, it was, it's like kind of showing myself that I, uh, no matter where I'm at on 4th of July, if, if I'm, I'm eating hot dogs, I'm going to, I can push it. And, uh, dude, it was, the crowd was pushing me and, uh, and dude, I, that, that, I think the most I've ever done in any practice, uh, was is 55, but, uh, they, they made the hot dogs super good. And then when they're only making, uh, when they're making less hot dogs, it's super easy for them to make them tasty. And, and I, uh, yeah, and I was able to, smash them but uh dude it was a uh, it was a great fourth of july and i uh and who knows who knows what will come up next uh i, I know i'm going against kobayashi uh, on labor day on netflix and may, maybe uh maybe i'll make it back to coney island in the future you need to make it back to coney island in the future mm -hmm. we'll definitely be locked into that matchup against kobayashi on netflix but joey you said something very interesting in terms of how they made the hot dogs so just take us through that in terms of you know what makes a good dog to have it you know easily digestible for yourself to kind of push forward to get 57 dogs in five minutes oh absolutely yeah it's uh it's like anything uh when the when the food tastes better it's easier to eat uh and so in on the fourth of july they're making like two thousand hot dogs for close to 20 eaters and and more so so it's uh so the, those dogs are made way way ahead of time and they're sitting out in the, the sun uh, and so it was really hard to get just keep them uh, keep them fresh feeling uh, and tasting. So so my my event there there's only me and and uh, four other guys who were uh, eating way less. But uh, so so I think they only had to make I think 100 180 dogs total, and so they were able to keep them fresh and covered. And and as soon as as soon as I started going, they were they were like, uh, like juicy. And it was it was yeah, dude, good dogs. I, I, maybe maybe Nathan's will. Uh, who knows? Yeah, maybe they'll uh, take a little bit, and take some notes, and you know, things like things like this will make uh, make everybody better. And uh, in the future, we'll, we'll I, I really hope we can work it out, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm just shocked that the taste actually is a factor when you're eating hot dogs that fast. To me, it looks like you guys aren't even tasting it; it's just <laughs> sliding straight down. Uh, but oh my god, absolutely! Like like a, a race car driver can tell if they're on on a, a on a on a bad road or even like if you're if you're playing on a, a field like there i'm sure there's baseball players football players that know that certain fields are garbage and they're just not going to be at their best and so so it's so it's um yeah like when the dogs uh have a, have, have have some kind of texture or flavor that's off it's uh it hits you again and again that's unbelievable. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah it's really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. Um, Joey, your your record at Nathan's is 78 dogs. So you were on pace. Oh, 76. 76. 76. Ooh, I'm giving you a little bit too much oh, credit. I, oh, I know. It's 78. Would have, oh, I did 78 <laughs> twice in practice this year right before I before I, they banned me. <laughs> so, I, uh, <laughs> so uh, dude, uh, 78 is definitely doable. But close to being on pace with where you were this uh, past couple days ago when you ate 57 dogs. Like, how were you able to perform so well in this setting? Because you didn't really have just the pomp and circumstances around the competition that you were in when you usually have that over at Coney with the uh, the Nathan's contest. Yeah, it was definitely a different environment, but it, it was. It, 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 I'm not dissing 
Nathan's or, or the, there that, that event at all, but uh, it, it, the, the event really is Fourth of July. And I, I was at, at, an, at an army base, and the soldiers, everybody celebrating Fourth of July. It's so uh, I, I, I think that that's what really it, it, it's being a part of people's Fourth of July is what kind of more motivates me. Uh, and I'm and I, I think that kind of showed more than anything. And then also, Joey, the great thing about that competition for you down in Texas was the money that you guys raised for that for charity. I know you touched on it a little bit, but, you know, how special was that for you to be involved in oh, that type I, of contest? So, yeah, Operation Homefront, uh, they, they, they help uh, support military families uh, while, while their people are deployed. And they, they just bring resources to families, military families. And, dude, it's, it's, it's awesome. And. And I have to give a shout out to Impossible Foods. Uh, they, they're the ones donating. Uh, even though they're, they're a plant-based meat company, they they were uh, donating money for every hot dog, eat, every all beef hot dog I was eating. So they uh, they were showing some love. So this uh, contest with Kobayashi coming up in the fall on Netflix. What are you guys eating, and how do you prepare for it? Oh my God, we are eating uh, regulation size hot dogs, the same size and the same, uh, it's all beef hot dogs, similar to what we've always been eating and uh 10 minute contest. I don't know if I'm allowed to say exactly where it's at right now, but, uh, I, I think Netflix is going to make an announcement real soon. And it's 10 minute, 10 minute event. And then we're going to be, it's, oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm amped and, uh, a little bit nervous, but it, this is, uh, this is something I've been uh, kind of dreaming of for years. Cause this is the guy who, uh, he was the man when I got started, and we pushed each other to amazing limits. And it's uh, it, it's fine. it's awesome that we can finally eat against each other again. Yeah, you talk about this as a guy that, that pushed you uh, when you got into the game, but this is a 15-year rivalry as well, Joey. So, I mean, are, are you breaking down game film of Kobayashi and trying to find any kind of weaknesses that he may have? I know you don't want to give too much of the attack and the plan, but are you into like the the filming of everything in terms of studying tape of Kobayashi? Oh, I'm, I'm studying him. I'm studying. Uh, I'm studying the way he's eating hot dogs. Sorry, I, I, I don't know if I should tell this, but they, they're changing one of the rules in this contest. Uh, yeah, you, usually it's a dunking contest. You can dunk the buns in water, but this contest where uh, there, there's no dunking, so hey. we're, we're going to eat with it. We're going to both of us are going to have to find a different rhythm, different way of eating. Uh, of just eating the the hot dog and bun as one, and uh, drinking water to help swallow. So numbers might not be quite as high, but we're going to be pushing each other to oh, insane limits. And it's going to be a uh, yeah. So, so we're, it's looking at old video might not quite help that much because we're, we're going to be using a different technique. And uh, I'm just going to put all my energy coming up for, uh, to figure out the best technique to get those dogs down fast. That is wild yes. that you won't be able to dunk it all because that's like half the strategy. It uh, look. I don't know how you guys do it, to be honest. But being able to dunk the bun seems like that helps significantly. Like, this is, feels like what you're going to be doing with Kobayashi is going to be a completely different contest than what we're used to seeing with hot dogs. It's, uh, I'm trying not to say that. In my head, I'm saying, all right, I'm still <laughs> eating hot dogs. Uh, it's still 10 minutes. There's just one little change. And, uh, you know, it, it's... It, 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 there's changes in sports all the time. Ba baseball has the pitching clock, and the pitchers have to... They have to make adjustments, and uh, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to make some adjustments, and uh, I'm going to find out the best uh, technique to just, yeah, you dominate. And I, I, I've already started practicing, actually. So I, uh, I, I have a pretty good idea that I'm actually surprising myself. So, so it, the numbers won't change too much, uh, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick some butt. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Joey. <laughs> I love yes, it. I can feel that I love energy it. and that focus right there, man. Um, take me through a kind of ideal, kind of pre, I guess, workout or pre preparation type thing for you day of. Like, what are you doing to get yourself mentally locked in day of? Are you listening to music? I mean, are, are you eating anything to prep your stomach for a competition like this? And, Joey, we got about 45 uh, seconds. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll make it real quick. Yeah, day of, I'm, I'm already been doing my cleanse. I'm loose. I uh, wake up at about 5 a.m. if I'm eating around one. And uh, I'm doing yoga and, and just trying to get – doing so many stretching just to make sure that burping exercises. And uh, do, I'm just slowly getting amped up. And and uh, day, the moment of the contest, I'm like – I feel like an animal. I, I could just uh, – I could – yeah, it's just I'm a, yeah, a monster. So uh, yeah, it's just a slow amp up all day long to to the game time. 
This love is unbelievable. It. Love unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. Yes, I love it. Let's go. Uh, Joey, we are a betting show, too. And so once the line comes out, because there will be a line for you and Kobayashi, just know that uh, everyone here on the show will be taking the over on your on your dogs, regardless of what it's set at. Oh, thank you so much. It's about time I, I, I hit the over. We believe Let's in you. It. We believe in you, Joey. It. Thanks so much for jumping on and joining us today, and congrats on all the success this past week. You take care. Thank you. That was Joey Chestnut, ladies and gentlemen. The Mama, man. Mama mentality right there yeah. from Joey Chestnut. <laughs> like, locked in. Says he's already prepping. Just finished the event in Texas the other day. He's already in preparation mode for Kobayashi on Netflix and on Labor Day. Like, wow. Unbelievable. This what does great. he do the morning of an event? Gets up, stretches, burping exercises? Yeah. Yoga. You know, this so he, he's working on his warrior, warrior two poses, you know, all those different things. Of course, his downward dog. This is great. This is really oh, great. my gosh. That was one of my Man. favorite interviews we've done on this show. And we've so, had Joey on multiple yeah, times before, yeah. but that one was uh, extra special. Well, you can tell the Joey's family, like when yes. you go into depth in terms yes. of your prep and, you know, releasing some things that shouldn't be released, because <laughs> he even said that, that lets you know you're talking to family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's the best. Joey is uh, the best. Friend of the show here. Yeah. Coming up with The Better Angle, we're going to dive into some top NBA storylines and Summer League. Kicking off which means Bronny James is in action this afternoon. That's all coming up here on The Better Angle.